Hello, hello everybody. It's Ronnie with Whip and Chain. I work with Maggie and Lauren to bring you crochet tutorials. And today we got a really cool one. It's a simple one. It is Granny Square Christmas Ornament. It, this works up super fast. And this is very beginner friendly. So we're going to dive right into this. And let's get started. All the yarn I'm using is acrylic. I honestly just went into my stash. I did not go out and buy yarn for this. Um, you can use stash yarn. That's absolutely um, fine where you can go buy yarn if that's what you want to do. All right. So there's two sizes you can make. Oh, this got bent. There's two sizes you can make. You can make the very large one like this one here. This is my last very large one that I have. And I want all that. I am thumbs today. Hang on. <laughs> I am thumbs today. But this is the large ornament. This ornament, if I take my measuring tape, and I go around it, this measures almost uh, a little larger than 12 inches. Okay, and then if we use the smaller balls, now I bought these, if memory serves me right, like two years ago, um, and I got them at Michael's, if memory serves me right, and the smaller ball is about eight, okay, a little bigger. So, these granny squares, you're going to need two of them if you're making the smaller one, it's only three rounds of the granny square. You need three rounds of the granny square. If you're making the bigger one, it's four rounds of the granny square. And I am going to quickly go through with you the way I did. There's variations on how people do their granny squares with the chain ones and this and that. I'm going to quickly show you what I did so you can try to match up the sizes but that's your call if you want to add stitches or take away stitches. Just be forewarned if you increase or decrease it can change the way it fits the ball. That might be a little disappointing. So like I said all the yarn that I used is from my stash. Some of it don't even have labels on it. Like the red. But I'm not going to be changing color yarn. I already got uh, two granny squares to, made to show you how to do this. I just want to get you started on how to do your granny square and what I used. I used a five and a half millimeter crochet hook. So be warned if you go smaller, might be too tight. You go bigger, might be too loose. You might have to play around with this because if you're a tighter or looser crocheter, but this seemed to work for me. So I started with a magic ring. If you need to do a chain, I would do a chain four, slip stitch to the first stitch, and then chain twice, two chains. If you did the magic ring, you automatically have one chain, just add one more. This chain two will never count as anything through the whole granny square. All right, so then I want you to put in three double crochets, one, Two and three. 
chain one, and then you put in three more double crochets, one, and two, and three. Chain one, Three more. One, two, and three. Chain one, and one more set of three. One, two, and three. Do your chain one. And you slip stitch to the top of the, your first double crochet, not the chain two, your first double crochet. Okay. You pull your center tight. Now I want you to slip stitch over into your chain one area. Okay. So it's one slip stitch, two slip stitch. And then you slip stitch right into your chain one area. Chain two, one and two, and then you put in three double crochets. One, two, and three. Chain one, and in that same corner, put in three more double crochets. One, two, and three. And then we're gonna just jump, no chaining. Jump to your next corner and do the same thing. Three double crochets. One, two, and three. Chain one. In that same corner, and three double crochets. One, two, and three. And then you jump to your next corner. So each corner is three double crochets, chain one, and three double crochets. You do not do any chains when you're jumping from space to space. And then next corner. Okay, you put in your last three double crochets. Remember, there's no chain one in the gaps. So you just slip stitch to the top of your first double crochet. Then all you do again is you slip stitch over, and you can change colors if you want. You just slip stitch over to the chain one area, you chain two, and then you proceed with your three double crochets. Chain one, and three double crochets. And then when you're on this row, don't forget to put three in the runway. Three double crochets. One, two, and three. 
then you just jump to your corner which is three double crochets chain one three double crochets now if you're doing a smaller ball this will be your last row if you're going to do the bigger ball you need four rounds like this one two three four and you need excuse me you need to make two of them okay Okay, now I have all my ends weaved in. You're going to face the good sides together. Take your hook and you go through the chain one area and one of the corners. Just like that. You take, I would suggest you use the color of the, the color of the yarn that you used last, but if you want, you can change it around totally up to you loop on my yarn and bring it through chain one back in that same chain one area go through and do a single crochet okay. now oh, I apologize I was trying to enlarge it went too big got an eyeful on that one. I apologize. Got your chain one. That's still too large. Now, you want to go on, <clears throat> you want to go on that most outside of the chain. Not the full chain. The chain that is closest, the one part of it that's closest to you. So you put your hook through that part. And then on the other side, you put your hook through the chain the top part of the chain that's farthest away from you. Okay, you grab yarn, bring it through, and do a single crochet. So you're not touching the most in centered part of the chain. So you're touching the one that's closest to you and the one that's furthest away from you. So you're not taking the whole chain, just the one side of each of them. You're done a single crochet, you're done do that all the way across. Just one single crochet in each one. All the way down the side. And then when you get to the corner, just go in that chain one area. And do a single crochet. And then leave the tail. And then weave in both of your ends and I'll be right back. Okay, now we are going to do the same thing on the other side. Not the top and bottom, just on the sides. exact same thing as we did before.
Okay, and then you go into the corner, the full corner. And you do a single crochet. Now don't cut off, I'm just cut off this tail that I crocheted over the whole thing. Okay. Pull up the big loop and let's turn this right side out. Okay. So put your loop back on. Now we're working on the bottom, okay? I want you to put a single crochet in the next stitch, skip a stitch, put a single crochet in the next stitch, skip a stitch, single crochet, skip a stitch, and then a single crochet, skip a stitch, single crochet, skip a stitch and you do this all the way around and then I'll put a one there and skip that there we go skip a stitch stitch to your first stitch and then cut and leave yourself a little bit of a tail pull your yarn straight through put it on your hook your needle and right at the your full stitch, just go through the front part of the loop. You're going to weave up and down, up and down each stitch, just the front part. Up and down, up and down. And down and just keep doing that all the way around. Until you get around to your beginning. If you overlap your beginning, that's all right. And then you just pull it tight until your bottom is completely closed. Then what I do is I drop my needle down and then I weave in my end on the wrong side. Now you take your ball and you 
put it around it. And it is a snug fit. You want the snug fit. Snug fit. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing that we did on the bottom. Just pick a spot to put your hook in. It is a little fidgety, but it's it will work. Your hook in. Chain one and go back in and do a single crochet. Skip a stitch. Double crochet in the next one. Skip a stitch. Double, uh, double, a single crochet, guys. Single, single, single. Skip a stitch and then you do another single crochet. Skip a stitch, single crochet, skip a stitch, single crochet, skip a stitch. Single crochet. It is tight. Skip a stitch to a single crochet. Skip a stitch. This all the way around. One extra stitch here. Let me just put a stitch right in there. And then you slip stitch. Two first stitch. yourself a two.
coughing, but I apologize. So I finished weaving all the way around, and all I did is pull it very tight, but that's exactly what you want. You want it tight. Now, weave your yarn around the center to lock it in. drink and my napkin. I don't need to see that. And so here is the bigger ball and here is the little ball, little smaller ball. Big difference in size, huh guys? But they turn out beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. And I want to say thank you for watching us. I am Ronnie. I work with Maggie and Lauren. We are whip and chain for work in progress and here at whip and chain it's always a work in progress until our next video happy crocheting everybody and come please join us on facebook under whip and chain happy holidays <laughs>